Can you give a little bit of a background to Dean's homicide? So the homicide occurred back in November of 2001. Dean was a young man living at the time in Rochester, was currently building a home there. Um, when he was discovered uh, deceased outside his property by some friends of his. The cause of death was uh, ruled from gunshot wounds and um, determined to be a homicide. So he was a young man, kept to himself for the most part. He had a real tight-knit group of friends. Um, There's nothing that stood out with Dean's lifestyle that would cause us to be immediately suspicious about what happened. You know, a lot of these cases could be from a love affair, could be from money, could be from drugs. Um, there wasn't anything that really stood out uh, to the investigators back then and also to us that really points us in a direction of, of what could be the motive for this. And I think that's one of the most challenging aspects of this is he wasn't a womanizer. He, he wasn't known for being out there dealing crack. He wasn't um, overly wealthy. So there wasn't a real good reason for anyone to to really target Dean, uh, which makes it difficult because ultimately when you have a homicide, you you need a motive and you need to find out why that person was killed. And one of the ways that we do that is to uh, really examine that victim's life and find out every little detail that we can. The more we know about a victim, the better off we are because it gives us a number of different avenues, a number of different people to speak to. Specifically with Dean's case, Um, He was just your average person. He was a nice guy, well-liked in the community. He loved to hunt and fish. Didn't really have a lot of of enemies that uh, anybody has really brought forth to us. So um, it's just one of those cases that's been very challenging. There was no enemies that we could really point to to say, you know, this is somebody that we really need to look at. With Dean's case, we're kind of, we're keeping a a broad brush and we're looking at everybody because there's nothing really that stands out. 